You just can't chase him off the three-point line. McCamish Pavilion, the site on the flats. Georgia Tech in the home whites controls. Coming out of Louisville's COVID pause in their last game. Wednesday, a win over Wake Forest. Here's Williams down the lane with the hammer. 13, now eight of his last 14 threes have gone in the basket. And Malik Williams, so versatile. His lead running mate is Jordan Usher, four in the white. And then Jordan Mecca makes his first career start as Usher connects from deep. They will throw a whole lot at you. You got to be ready for a team that plays zone the second most in the ACC behind only Syracuse. And Cross connects from the corner to beat Georgia State in that big game you mentioned from Jordan Usher. Michael DeVoe hadn't touched the ball yet. It's a good sign, Noah Locke, who hit five threes against Wake Forest. Searching for sponsorship <laughs> opportunities with the face shield. Shot clock winding down on Usher, a straight on three. And he's got all six for the jacket. Over the last couple of games from three-point range. He said after his last game, it's not like I'm going to go into the next one thinking I'm Curry all of a sudden, but he looks like it so far. And Louisville ahead by five in the first five minutes here on the road. Shot clock winding down. Williams has the size on Khalid Moore, and that's pretty with the left hand. The Yellow Jackets, they really struggled with that in their first ACC game against North Carolina. Big time block on L. Ellis there. You know, Ellis just goes right down the lane, and Moore's behind him and catches up. This is real. 13 in black, Jared West on him all game. Well, it's hard to score unless you shoot, and he hasn't taken a shot yet. He passed off that time to Usher, who is keeping Georgia Tech afloat. And here comes DeVoe and Georgia Tech with Louisville ahead by four. Kyle Sturdivant drills it. It's a one-point game. Missed its last four shots. Jared West got stripped. Here comes Jordan Usher in the open floor, laying it in, and Georgia Tech leads. Well, that was close to the basket, but it was well defended. Good defense from Jared West. DeVoe takes it back, and he scores plus a foul. And both Locke and Cross are back in the game, perched in those corners. Williams stops the lengthy scoring drought for Louisville. His recognition on what Georgia Tech's doing defensively with the changing defenses and the zone that they can throw at you. That's DeVoe on a step back. Cross threaded one into Williams, who spun away from danger and slammed it home. If he'd thrown it anywhere else, it would have been picked off. Usher going one-on-one -on -one with Cross, and Jordan Usher's got 13 points. He goes after everything. He said before the year that he was going for 20 a game. Uh, Mike DeVoe averages 21 points per game. Join the Louisville staff, Ross McMains. He's actually not here. He and Mike Pegues not with Louisville. So we're sending them our best. And Sturdivant turns around and connects. Locke working on DeVoe, trying to create some space and falling away. That is smooth from Noah Locke. Williams moves it. Lock drills it. 10 0 run for Louisville over the last six minutes or so. Moore scores off the glass against Williams. 12.5 left, first half. Louisville by one with the ability to hold for the final shot. Williams to the basket from Williamson. That is nice looking offense for Louisville. Going up against Georgia Tech, the reigning ACC champs who are in search of their first conference win. Khalid Moore. Williamson dumps it off beautifully to Malik Williams. What a find from Sam Williamson. Sam Williamson has four assists. The junior former McDonald's All-American in the starting lineup for a second straight game. Well, he's got such a good mid-range game. And obviously he's shown today he can be a good passer and defender. Oh, what a pass there. Mecca from Usher. Hey, 
Usher gives it up. Here's DeVoe. Knocking it down. Mike DeVoe, second three. Few guys who are better than Jared West on the ball defensively. Davis steps into a rhythm three. And Dre Davis at 19% from three for the season. You know, when we talked to Josh Pastner yesterday, he, he's always good with metaphors and similes, it seems like. And he compared to trying to lean on your defense. 11 and 1 in one of the early stories in the Atlantic Coast Conference. And Chris Mack thought offensively that Wednesday's game was a real positive step in the right direction. Davis turns the corner and finishes to tie the game. DeVoe, wriggled free from Jared West. Takes a while to get acclimated, and he certainly seems to be acclimated now. Davis going to work again. As you said, he is tough and he is physical. And he just used all of it. He's hit a three, and then out of the timeout, he's hit a couple of twos. And Kyle Sturdivant. Louisville is just phenomenal when you look at the metrics defensively. When Williams and West, who picks it off here, are on the floor together as West lays it in to slice the deficit down to two. But you see Malik Williams doing a nice job playing off more. Moore's not going to hurt you from there. Start of it. Driving on Ellis, a nice control. Each team has gone on a double-digit run of its own, and Louisville forces the turnover. Williams hauls it in and lays it in with some nifty footwork. Boy, Locke didn't see Sturdivant fall down, and he gave up the ball. Offensive rebound, Davis plus a foul, and Louisville's got a chance to take the lead. Well, we've seen DeVoe make deep ones, but he was almost at half court. West muscles to the basket. The small lineup in the game again for Georgia Tech. DeVoe scores. You can count it. Plus the foul. Locks got the loose ball for Louisville. Really nice job by Cross to not let DeVoe get past him. And now Williams scores at a foul. Malik Williams having a night in Atlanta. Nice job by Sturdivant. Cross got free on the baseline, out of bounds, and he scores it, and he's got a chance at a three-point play. West still on the bench, it's Ellis on DeVoe, and DeVoe hits. He does not need much space. Davis tried to get a seal on Sturdivant, recovers with the ball on the baseline. Dre Davis, he's had a big second half, and he scores that, adding on in the second half for Louisville. DeVoe's got cross on it. Mike DeVoe with 23 points to his name. Gives it up. Start of in. Connects. Moore forces the turnover. Georgia Tech with it. Down three. 90 seconds to go. Moore at the rim and it's a one-point game. Six on the shot clock for Louisville. Sam Williamson inbounding. Uses Malik Williams, hoisting from three, and the rebound to Sturdivant, and Georgia Tech's got it down one. Usher off the bounce, driving on Williamson, trying to dump it off, and it's picked off by Cross. But by trying to make the pass, you allow Matt Cross to come into the picture, and Cross does a nice defensive job tipping the ball away. Two of three tonight at the strike. And he splits. 15 seconds to go in the hands of the ACC's best scorer. DeVoe for the lead. Can't connect rebound Williams. And a foul on Georgia Tech. 70% for the season. One of three at the line tonight. And he misses the first. 7.4 left in the hands of Kyle Sturdivant. Into the front court. DeVoe trying to get free. Sturdivant for the tie. Can't hit. And Louisville wins on the road in Atlanta.